All right, defensive flying, particularly reversals and how to force a reversal, how to turn a really bad situation into an advantageous situation. This is something I don't expect everybody to get right away. Um, it's something that's practiced. It's something that the more you do it, the more you put yourself in a really bad situation, the more comfortable you'll get pulling these maneuvers. has a lot to do with speed, has a lot to do with uh, setting up the approach, not waiting to the last minute. You'll see some of these as we get a little bit closer, but uh, I'm going to set up a couple select clips here and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I did. Alright guys, well, let's check it out. So let's take a look at this first scene. I have a MiG-15 1.7 kilometers behind me. He's been tailing me for a bit. I'm pulling away from him, but he is definitely interested in taking care of me. So I'm leading him away from the pack. I don't want to be in a, a two-on-one or more than two on me at one time. I try and keep it to a one-on-one -on -one scenario. So I'm doing well over a thousand kilometers an hour. I'm setting it up. I'm going to let him get close. I'm going to set up this broadside. What did I just do here? Alright, so I just turned more of a 90 degree angle towards him. I pop my air brake because I want to slow down to probably around 800 kilometers an hour. And I do this because he's still doing well over a thousand kilometers an hour. So he is going to overshoot me. So let's see what happens here. Here's our broadside. Air brakes back in to maintain 800. I turn back in towards him. He's going considerably faster. And all of a sudden I'm behind him. And now there's nothing he can do couple shots and flat spin and that man is done let's watch this again one time without slowing down setting up for the 90 degree intercept air brake out slow down just a little bit air brake back in he's going faster turn back in towards him force the overshoot take a couple shots finish the deal that's how you do it. MIGs are the easiest ones. So, I guess looking back, the two things I can say to always try to remember when you're trying to force the overshoot is you need to be going slower than they are. If you try and pull the move that I just showed you and you're going faster than them, then they will be right behind you every time you try and pull that maneuver. So, planning is everything, right? And the second thing is, is I suggest you all to go look for something called turning circle geometry um, for dogfighting. Um, it'll kind of explain to you a little bit about what happens and why I set up that 90 degree angle. But if you can picture it enough, if you set up a 90 degree angle, they're going to they're gonna go behind you if they miss you every time. And if they're going faster, it's just that much easier to force the overshoot. So let's look at this setup. I'm in the... Uh, F-86A5, it's a considerably slower plane, you have to have your head on a swivel with this aircraft. So I just made the pass on another Sabre, I look to my right and I see a CL coming at me. I know I'm not outrunning that. So I figure I better turn towards him, but instead now I also see a MiG on my right. So I'm already set up at a 90 degree angle for the wind. So we're just going to turn towards him, I'm slow, I know that, I'm going to turn back towards him again. And then now, I'm behind him. I didn't even have to use the ear brake on that one. I was already going slow. Pop a couple shots, and he's done. And he knows it. Migs don't fly very well with wing damage. Alright, so here's another situation. I'm just flying along. Minding my own business. I figured I was pretty clear up here. I looked around and, oh, there's an FJ-4. Caught me off guard. He's hauling ass. So I turned down a little bit. And that just makes him increase a little bit more speed. I turn back over, down on top. And all of a sudden, I'm right behind him again. Why did that happen? Mainly because he has a lot of speed. Not so much because of turning ability. Yes, the F-40 turns great. That was because of speed. He was hauling ass. And I was substantially slower than him. Just like that. It's easier than it looks. 
All right, lastly, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of A5 gameplay. I'm going against another saber. Sabers are a lot more difficult, but if you use what I just taught you, you'll, uh, you'll have similar results in the end. You just have to be a little bit more aggressive about it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a sub if you feel like you're learning something. I'll be putting out a lot more. Uh, not so much more on the Sabres. We're moving to different aircraft, but um, good luck. We'll see you around.